Oh yeah, that's so much better. Oh. I honestly thought my sunglasses were in there. What's up guys, welcome back or to the channel. I got some awesome, awesome news. There's the door open actually. But we're going to Jeep Beach in two weeks and a month and a half from today is Daytona truck meet. If we could hit 70 or 75,000 subscribers by then, that would be amazing guys. I couldn't thank you guys enough. But in the meantime, I've got some awesome, awesome news. You ready for this? The coilovers should be on their way for my truck. Obviously you guys haven't seen before, my forged wheels are here. This weekend I will be ceramic coating them, that's why they're here. But if you're new to the channel, there's the uh, Hellcat Ram 2500 and my Jetta back there. I don't know if they got overnighted and they'll be here tomorrow or they'll be here Monday. Um, next week we may have to stay, we may have to stay late, bust out the rear, stay late another day, bust out the front of the truck. We're gonna have to figure it out. However, once they come in, I'm gonna have to disassemble them, get the springs powder coated. And after the springs get powder coated, I can put the core levers back together and we can put the lift on. So hopefully we can get that all done next week because next weekend I'll be up in Cleveland and the week after that I'll be in Daytona till about Saturday so we got a lot to do in a very short amount of time but today we're gonna be doing some awesome stuff I'm gonna do some clutch adjustment on my truck that the catch point is just a little bit further uh, away than I actually would like I always drive it I'm like you know what this just doesn't feel right so we're gonna do some I mean the clutch is fine but just the, the release point is a little too high for my legging so we're gonna do some clutch adjustment today however in the meantime Ben's over here taking the top off of his Jeep like I said guys we'll be at Jeep Beach in Daytona in two weeks so if you're around Daytona or whatever in the area come swing by obviously can't miss it Jeep's green wheel should be here soon and tires uh, for this will be here soon as well so Ben's over here taking the top off we're gonna be strolling around today for a little bit we got to get a picture of the Jeep flexing here for flow pro so it could show off their new exhaust for the Jeeps if he can do it you can do it all takes one person well I'm trying to see <laughs> what he did when there it is oh swing it around <laughs> oh, he's got it. One man. Oh, I was gonna say, look at that. Turtle! Man, one man. Spectacular. <laughs> That's right, guys. If you have a Jeep, no excuses. You can take the hard top off by yourself. Uh, one of our buddies said he used to do it by himself, so I was just like, hey, why don't you try it out? So, yes, you can take a hard top off with one person. that down I can't see oh I think for a little okay it's literally like flat <laughs> now, I mean you're flexing up here yeah no she's definitely flexing that's for sure guys I just love Jeeps I just love the, the go anywhere aspect people are like oh you could do that with your truck I mean like I could but I also like can't trucks are like utility made not off-road made so like Everyone's like, oh, get your truck money. Trucks aren't made to run through mud and go off road. Trucks are meant to haul, pull trailers, plow snow. They're made as utility vehicles. This is an off-road machine. Also, look, with the sway bars disconnected, the Jeep is absolutely flat. That's an awesome feature of the Rubicons. If people didn't know, Rubicons give you those off-road features like lockers and your sway bar disconnect. Better articulation. You gonna crawl up the hill or what? Go for it, you're not gonna, there you go. No rubbing, no worries. Oh yeah, look at that. Ah, uh, never mind. You're going through it. Yeah, all I did was let the clutch out. Do that again. That's nutty. Keep going. Back up slowly. Look at this. Go. Because your lockers, I we turn your lockers on you're kind of like a skid steer all the, they're all turning simultaneously so your jeep's pushing this way but those are also moving backwards uh -oh. <laughs> Woo! definitely windy all 
All right guys, so today we are going to be adjusting the clutch in my truck. Okay, so I don't know what you can or can't see, but back up in here on the back side of the clutch pedal on the South Bend hydraulics, there's a little, oh, I can find it. All the way up here, there's a nut. What you're gonna do, I have no idea if you can or can't see anything. You're gonna loosen this nut. And then after it's loose, you're just gonna turn the shaft of it and the pedal will move in and out. We're gonna bring the uh, catch point down. Um, it, it's way too high right My foot gets caught up in here, so we're gonna move the catch point down. Okay, so as you can see, the clutch is just a hair above the brake now. So, fully released, it'll be out here. Yeah, it'll about catch right here. It's a hair above the brake. I wanna be honest, if even if I had a 68 RFE or an Ison, I would totally try and order this brake pedal. I honestly love, in any manual car, the skinny brake pedal. It's honestly awesome. Yeah, we're gonna take this for a test drive now and we can adjust as needed. Ooh, definitely a different catch point here. We're gonna have to be careful leaving so we don't hit the charger or the Jetta. Damn, we're already inside. Let me try and get this catch point. Okay, that's a lot lower. That's awesome. And back. I thought I told myself I need to move this charger. Yeah, that's so much better. I'm gonna lie right now this truck is driving incredible like the feel of that clutch at that position so much better wow as I'm I gotta hello the Sun visor is totally blocking my face this whole time since I put it in it was like just a bit too high no I thought that wasn't right but what happened was a couple days ago I didn't film and I should have I actually backed it out pushed the pedal out more thinking that would drop the catch point and you know give more play in the pedal but turns out that is absolutely not true and it was honestly just eh but this release point night and day difference this thing feels amazing it was super duty now that's another thing we'll see how the chatter see if the chatter is any different it's quieter now after that drive than it usually is so we'll have to see but I mean it is quieter so we'll see if that adjustment also helps you know dual this chatter because that's a heck of a lot quieter I have the royal purple but with the, the pedal all the way out like I had it you could hear it pretty well however you know we might have found a solution for dual this chatter I'll see on the way home uh, if it sounds the same but as of now this sounds spectacular compared to what would happen after a quick drive like that. So if you watched my video from the other day, here is my buddy Storm's truck. We put a uh, two inch leveling kit on and some 35 uh, 1150s on his stock wheels, no rubbing. It, it, the truck looks so much better. Even with the leveling kit and just bigger tires on his stock wheels, the truck looks spectacular. Obviously mine's just a bit bigger. <laughs> but yeah guys, like I said, this you know, leveling kit and some bigger tires is definitely achievable, achievable for most. A six inch lift. 37s, 22s, all that stuff isn't always achievable at the moment for some people. 
So honestly, keep saving up. But in the meantime, don't be afraid to you know dabble in the modding into the modding world. Get out there, start modding your trucks, do simple things, and then you'll realize how fun it actually is, and it'll grow into stuff like this. It didn't start where I'm at today. This took you know years and so many trucks and vehicles of just different simple mods to get me where I am and where I'm going. But you know this SEMA truck I'm about to build, baby steps, baby steps, and you'll be able to achieve things just like this. All right, guys, if you follow me on Snapchat, you know what night it was. It was, in fact, wing night. So me and a few buddies go out every week and get wings, and that's where I just was. However, we're back on the road. I could just tell you that this truck drives one million percent better. I And it's not even like, oh, the clutch engagement was just in the wrong spot. Like, no. Physically, the engagement of the clutch itself, the shifts, chatter, all of it, all of it has been improved. And I am so happy I decided to do this. I wasn't even planning on doing this. I was just planning on, oh, hold on. It's the only problem with a stick. Okay, now we're downshifting because traffic is slow in front of you, but I can tell you that the dual disc chatter is, you know, complete, like almost completely diminished. And this truck itself drives awesome now. Even the shifts itself, spectacular. Let me try and give you guys a little more sound clip of shifting here. We're rolling downhill, so I'll start you in a second. This is actually a spectacular find for more reasons than one. The shifts themselves are so much smoother. The engagement is spectacular. And on top of that, guys, this truck is just a million, million times better to drive. I know I've said it multiple times now, but that's how much, that's how much of a difference just adjusting the clutch has made. This is wow. Okay. All right, guys, we just parked, and here's the best part about this whole situation. Listen before my battery dies. So much quieter. Even after, like, a long trip, while well, usually after a long trip, it get quite chattery, but you know what? That's spectacular. So, guys, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I'm putting my hat up here because I can't see myself, but the battery's about to die. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. Like I said, I'm trying to hit 70,000 before Daytona truck me. If you enjoyed this video, shoot a thumbs up. Take care, and I will see you guys in the next video.